Okay, so I thought I'd do uh, a quick recap of what travelling with the Mavic Air is like. Um, as a general rule, it's pretty impressive for a device as small as it is. It just seems to do everything. I mean, its 4K shooting's brilliant. Um, I prefer to use the 2.7K mode because you can do 60 frames a second so you can get some slow-mo sort of stuff into it and it's easier with the uh, ND filters to keep the old double frame type speeds. The controller is a joy to use and having the sticks go inside is just incredibly clever. It's simple but very clever. Um, it fits my phone perfectly, which is uh, an S8. Um, it also fits my Nexus 7 quite happily. SD card ejection. Uh, I've, I've watched loads of videos where everyone says ejecting the SD card from this thing is an absolute nightmare. Um, and it just isn't. I don't see what the problem is. You just eject it the exact same way as you insert it. Put it in, click it so it clicks, and that's in. And when you want to take it out, click it again so it's clicked, and take it out. No nails, no pulling, no biting, no using tweezers or bits of sticky tape. Or I, I just don't think people know how to use an SD card eject mechanism properly. So I'm not really sure about that one. The only thing that is a little bit of a pain on this is as you can see the the props tend to get in the way when you fling it away and they, they can kind of get caught on things and stuff like that so you just got to be careful when you put it away that the blades aren't caught on stuff because if you take them out and they're bent then it just won't fly very well. The fly more kit is definitely worth buying. The two extra batteries you need them. Flight time of about 20 minutes on a single battery. If you do anything clever with it, um, or you bung it in sports mode, or it's windy, or anything else out of the ordinary, and um, do um, flying conditions, high Wi Fi traffic in the area, that sort of stuff, all have effect on your battery life. So, having more than one battery is a godsend. And the Flymore kit gives you this battery charger which allows you to charge four at a time. You only get three in the kit. Um, the one that you normally get with the drone and two, two extra ones with the Flymore. But well worth doing. Um, it doesn't charge all four at the same time. It basically intelligently monitors the battery levels in each battery and charges the one with the most battery left in it first. So it's to try get you to fly quicker. So if you've got three batteries, two of them are at 10%, the other one's at 50%, it'll charge 50% one first, and then charge the other, the other two in turn. So you can get out and flying quicker. Uh, the extra blades are obviously worth having because, like I said, quite easy to bend, buckle, or break them. When I was flying over in Spain, obviously there's an awful lot of Wi-Fi interference on the seafront there. Um, all of the bars have Wi-Fi, all of the hotels have Wi-Fi, and just quick and dirty testing of a C mode versus FCC mode. FCC mode is hundreds of times better. Just having that extra broadcast power from the controller and from the, the, the quad makes a world of difference. I had a lot less dropouts, a lot less video hiccups, um, range was definitely better although I didn't do a like for like comparison so I wouldn't know how much better it would be but it was definitely better. Um, do it. It's such a simple mod to do. Just get an Android phone off someone and do it. And whenever it pops up, click cancel. Simple as that. It doesn't matter whether you fly then with Android or iOS. It just doesn't make any difference. You'll be in FCC mode and you have, well, I've read the specs and the specs online are basically huge amounts of difference. So in 5.7 to 5.8 gigahertz, FCC mode, they reckon it's 4,000 meters, CE mode is 500 meters, and in 2.4 gigahertz, FCC mode is 4,000 4, meters, 
CE mode, 2000 meters. Um, and it's basically 28 decibels versus 19 decibels of power. So you're almost doubling your power output, well, over doubling your power output actually, um, to, to and from the, the, the quadcopter. A quick note, birds, I don't know whether it's the pitch, whether it's the size, whether it's the way it moves, the colour, what? Seagulls especially absolutely hate the Mavic Air. They were dive bombing it and trying to get to it and stuff. Fortunately, not a single one actually got the drone. So uh, it didn't fall out of the sky or anything like that. Um, I think they don't like it when it gets close and they can feel the downdraft from the blades. So they tend to pull away from it. But at one point I had, must have been 15 <laughs> seagulls around the thing. Um, flying over the beach. Flying it in Spain and in the UK where I've fl flown it, not a single person's bothered by you flying it. Um, everyone's more curious than worried that you're going to be taking photos of things that you shouldn't be taking photos of. No one seems to bother. Um, I mean I flew it over a packed beach and I had people coming to watch but not a single person saying that I shouldn't be flying it or doing something with it. So that's good. 4K footage on it, like I've said before, great. But I recommend using that mainly if you're going to use cropping on it. If you're going to use cropping on the 4K footage, shoot 4K. If you're not going to be using cropping, your best bet is to shoot the 2K. Um, you've got a bit of crop left on it if you need to crop it. But you've got a bit more flexibility in frame rates, speeds, and matching your, your ND filters and stuff like that. It's a little easier, I tend to find. Oh, something I found out there and I didn't realise beforehand. Batteries. If you fly it and then you take the battery out and put it on charge straight away, especially in warm climates, the battery just won't charge. It waits for the battery to get down to below a certain temperature before it'll you can start to charge the, the battery. So if you see an amber light on the uh, multi-charger or a flashing light on the battery if you're plugging it in directly to the charger, it's probably because the battery's too warm and it won't charge it yet. Um, it's worth knowing. It took me a little while to work it out. General settings and stuff that I, tend to, I found tended to help. Um, slow the gimbal down. <laughs> it just makes using it so much easier. The gimbal uh, is quite loose on the Mavic controller and slowing it down just gives you so much more control over where, how and who. Um, the other settings I changed were uh, around center I've um, reduced the the speeds and tolerances around center so it takes a lot more movement to the outsides of the control zones to actually start getting it into the the high speed stuff it just gives you more control when you're pitching rotating things like that all of the the smart stuff on it seemed to work really well kids love being able to fly the drone with their hands I mean they stood there pointing their hands and telling it to go up and down left right and take photos and all the rest of it um, the follow me stuff works great the dronies and the smaller stuff works great um, yeah, well worth it. The other thing I would highly recommend is getting an SD card that's V30 or U3. Uh, it just won't shoot 2.7K or 4K um, on anything other than uh, a class 10 U3 um, um, disc. It's just that simple. So invest and get a decent SD card or a couple of decent SD cards. For what it costs, how big it is, how much cheaper it is than the uh, bigger brothers etc it just can't be beaten um, there are certain limitations to it like it's only got two shooting profiles for video it's normal mode and decine like so definitely use decine like if you're going to do any color correcting or color grading uh, in post um, and get yourself some ND filters otherwise it just looks a bit unnatural and gamey in the footage um, but besides that couldn't ask for a lot more I don't think um, I'm yet to see something that I think would probably 
challenge it for its price and size and ease to use and travelability and stuff like that. The little cases that they ship with it are quite cool. Um, I use the the one that comes with the uh, flymore kit most of the time while I was away. It keeps the batteries, keeps spare blades, controller and drone quite safe. So I just use that all the time and it seemed to work fine. Besides that, we're going to go out shooting this weekend hopefully. We might potter along to one of the villages we look quite like. So I'll shoot some footage from there and uh, see you again soon. Cheers.